Here we have two lists in Cognos report. This list on the left side uh, presents all of the data that we have. So these are all of the rows that we are provided with. And here on the right side, uh, we have a list that shows uh, that data, but grouped and subtotals are calculated. And we will see now how we can filter this list on the right side in three ways. First, we will filter this uh, list by filtering source data. So this column here presents source data and we will filter out all of the values that are smaller than 90. We can notice that in this uh, list on the right side we don't have any value that is smaller than 90 and in order to filter source data we will first select some part of this uh, list. We will go to filter button then to edit filters. Here we will add a new filter. We will filter value column Okay, and we will uh, filter only values that are bigger than 90. When I click on OK, we will uh, see here that we have this grand total. When we apply this uh, filter, this grand total should be smaller. Why? Because we will select this option here before auto aggregation. This option here means that we are actually filtering source data and not data in this uh, list on the right side. So when I click here, we will see that this value will be smaller. Okay. And instead of 2775, we have this value. We can go uh, for a moment in Excel to see what happened here. Here we have the same data. And when we exclude all the values that are smaller than uh, 90, we will get 2497 just like this. I will now disable this filter. I will click here to disable it. I will show you now how to apply second level of uh, filtering. We will now filter these rows. So we will filter rows in this uh, list on the right side. We will filter this uh, last column value and we will uh, filter all of the values that are uh, bigger than 350. Uh, for that, we will go again to filter button, then to edit filters. We will change this uh, filter. So instead of 90, we will select 350. And uh, we will uh, then click on OK. Uh, we will change this to required, so our filter will not be disabled anymore. But what is important, we have to change this setting. We have to uh, select this option after auto aggregation. That means that we are uh, filtering uh, these uh, rows in this list on the right side. And when I click on OK, we will see that all of the rows that are smaller than 350 will disappear. Uh, let's try that now. When I click on OK, so all of the rows that are smaller than 350 disappeared. I will now disable this uh, filter. Okay. Third level of filtering is filtering these subtotals. We can filter by this subtotal or by this subtotal. First, we will filter by this uh, subtotal. So we are filtering these values here and we will filter out everything that is smaller than 700. For this, we again uh, will select our list. We go to filter button, edit filters. But now we have to jump to this summary uh, filters tab. So we will go here, we will click on a plus button, uh, we will select our column value, okay, and we will select only values that are bigger than 700, okay. But in this case, we also have to change this scope. What is the scope? Scope is actually a choice between all possible subtotals. Uh, we here have uh, two subtotals. We have this one and this one. So we have to select between uh, these two. And I will then click here and I will select column origin because this is subtotal that we are using. It is connected to origin column. So I will select it. OK. And when I click on OK, we will see that only subtotals uh, here that are smaller than uh, that are bigger than 700 will remain. So when I click on OK, we can see only these uh, two subtotals and they are bigger than 700. Now I will uh, disable this uh, filter. And then uh, we will uh, again do the filtering, but this time we will use uh, these uh, subtotals. We will filter out this subtotal uh, down there 
that is smaller than uh, 1500. Again, we will select our list, we go to filter button, edit filters, we go to summary uh, filters tab, we will change this filter, I will change this value to uh, 1500, okay, and we have to change this scope. So instead of origin column, we will select buyer column, okay, and this is our uh, filter, we have to enable it, we will select this option required, okay, and we will see now that only sub, this subtotal that is bigger than uh, 1500 will remain. Uh, when we remove some of the subtotals, all the rows that are connected to that sub subtotal will disappear. So removing subtotal removes also the rows.